If a person intends to engage in a criminal offense and takes some action toward its commission, but ultimately doesn't complete the offense, then the person may still face criminal liability for attempt. In State v. McElroy, we explore impossibility as a potential defense to attempt liability. Late one night, an officer from the Yuma County Sheriff's Office responded to a call about two suspicious persons loitering near a residence. The persons, one of whom was Marvin McElroy, informed the officer that they were hitchhiking. McElroy then asked for a ride into town. The officer agreed. In compliance with standard procedure, the officer patted McElroy down for weapons before allowing him in the vehicle. The pat-down revealed a bag of white pills in McElroy's shirt. McElroy told the officer that they were amphetamines. After placing McElroy in the vehicle, the officer found a second bag of white pills laying on the back seat. A field test at the scene confirmed that the drugs were amphetamines. But subsequent laboratory analysis showed that the field test was a false positive and that the pills, in fact, weren't amphetamines or any other prohibited drug. Consequently, instead of charging McElroy with possession, the state charged him with attempted possession. The trial court found McElroy guilty and placed him on probation. McElroy then appealed to the Arizona Supreme Court, arguing that he couldn't be liable for attempt because the pills weren't a prohibited substance that would support possession liability. 